Doesn't that sound good? I would recognize that voice anywhere. Yes, indeed. It is Clay Aiken. <laughs> good morning, that, Clay. I'm hurt that I'm sitting next to you, right? <laughs> Yeah, she just noticed. <laughs> wow, I, I cut off your new CD. That really sounds good. Oh, well, thank you very much. Love that. We'll talk about that coming up in a little bit. But she has a question. I she's been have dying got to ask, to ask, when the governor wanted to give you your bridge in North Carolina, did you ever get the bridge named after no, you? No, I what? did not. But he said, he did say if I win American Idol, that he would give me a bridge. I, I, I know, he, that was he, the story. Yeah. If he's, you want. He's being investigated by federal authorities right now. So. <laughs> <laughs> but then I thought everybody said, well, come on, he came in second, give him the darn bridge. Know, but they never gave Fantasia a bridge either, and Fantasia's from North Carolina. She won the next year, so. Really? That, and that is actually precisely why he's being investigated by the feds. <laughs> <laughs> He should be. He should be. I hope they throw the book at him. And, well, and did I also hear this? I don't know if this is true or not, but I was reading blogs. Are you afraid of water? Because I, it's I, kind of ironic. Well, not like water a in a glass or a cup. Like <laughs> but I, I, yeah, I'm not. A, I'm not a swimmer. No. And for years, it was hard for me to drive over a bridge. I had the bridge picked that I wanted. I had there was a bridge I had to drive over. I'm over over a dry <laughs> over a dry <laughs> river. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Clay Aiken is in town uh, to do a show tonight at Mesa Arts Center at uh, 7.30 p.m. And thank you so much for stopping by this morning. Sure, we really appreciate it. Of course, uh, off the air, he was giving us a hard time about making him get up so early. <laughs> well, I, this is the only one. We've been on tour for quite a while now. It's the only only radio station we've woken up for. And, and it's, it's the only one you will, right? <laughs> yes. All right. That's true. I can guarantee you I that. that. <laughs> well, thank you for coming. I know, it's, I know it's early. Yeah. We want to talk to you a little bit about, uh, of course, the show, American Idol. Uh, you were you were runner-up in, in season two. Do you uh, do you still uh, stay in contact with any of the people that you? Um, I stay in I stay in touch with Ruben quite right. a bit. Ruben and I talk at least about once a week. Um, still. And, oh, that's uh, nice. And and I, and I do stay in touch with Fantasia, who lives like I said, who lives not too far from me. And and Kelly and I have been friends for years since we toured together. Um, Seven years ago, and so um, I, I stay in touch with them. But um, uh, you know, it's it's kind of like I, I equate the whole experience to high school for several several reasons. You know, I it was a learning experience. One, um, I wouldn't really be where I am today if I hadn't gone to high school, and I wouldn't be where I am today if I hadn't been for Idol. But um, I don't go back to the high school football games, um, and I don't stay in touch with everybody I knew in high school. So it's you know, it's kind of it was an extremely important part of my life. But it's something that well, you that's that's a good analogy. Well, let me ask you this: uh, before Idol, I'm sure you know you, you had all these aspirations of, of being. <laughs> Uh, in, in the business and all of that. Afterward, no. No, no, really? no. I never would have been a singer had it not been for that show. Actually, I, I always oh, Was it like a dare or something? It was, a, it was <laughs> almost a dare. It was really someone who I worked with at the time nagged me so much, had heard me sing around the house because I worked in a, in, a, uh, in a home setting with someone and had heard me sing around the house and they said, listen, you got to go try it for the show. And I said, no, 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 I'm not going to do that. I'm not a very competitive person. And so finally she nagged me enough. I was like, okay, well, the auditions are in Charlotte. I'll go to Charlotte. I mean, it's right down the street. I'll, I'll go audition Charlotte. I went and auditioned, and I got cut. And I was like, well, screw that. I'm going. I'm going to go first day. So I drove down to Atlanta the next weekend and auditioned again, and uh, and and made it through then. But uh, yeah, I never would. I was I was going to be a teacher. I mean, I went to school for special ed, and and that was kind of my my plan. But wow. Uh, yeah, never had any desires to be a singer, and still and still don't. <laughs> oh wow! Well, I, I tell you, I sure like what I hear. I'll have to say that. Uh, is it uh, is it what you kind of thought it might be once you got into Idol and and you know? Uh, um, well, I mean, it's hard to answer that simply because you know, like I said, I didn't really know. I didn't really plan on it. But I think that there's a lot of there's definitely a lot of misconceptions about you know we. When I was younger, you look at celebrity and whatnot, and you think it it entails all of this. You know, limousines yeah. and wine and roses and whatnot. <coughs> Excuse me. There's a cough button I should use. Yeah. <laughs> um, but um, you know, it, it, last night, I, yesterday, I spent all day on the bus uh, driving from Dallas to uh, to Phoenix, and that was 20 hours. And then I slept <laughs> on the bus tonight, last night. Uh, so it's not, it's nothing. It's not. There's no fancy at all to it. Um, so uh, uh, I, I, I think there's a lot of misconceptions about everything, and it's it's real life. You know, it's it's eight years now of I mean, this is just kind of a job for me. Like your job is is for you and I'm sure you know people think that uh, people think that it's got to be exciting and well, fancy to be on the radio but I just found out that he goes to bed at 5:30 at night <laughs> and wakes up at 2 in the morning so I'm like what <laughs> so life could be more strange <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so. yeah, yeah. well Jason our uh, our camera guy his mom is a big fan and wanted to ask about Broadway and if you totally loved doing Spam a lot. You know, I absolutely did and I didn't expect to. I um, I didn't have any aspirations or dreams of that either uh, and kind of kind of took it because I had, had we'd had several 
different shows ask if I would be interested, and I had said no for a long time. Mm -hmm. And Spamalot came up. It's Mike Nichols. You can't really, I mean, there are actors all, I mean, I'm not an actor, but there are actors everywhere who would love to right. to work with Mike Nichols. And, and so um, we, we took that opportunity because it was different. And I absolutely fell in love with it. I love I loved not being the only person on stage. I loved the team thing. Not having, <coughs> n I, 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 I don't, I mean, I, I like doing my own shows. I like the Clay Aiken on the name on the ticket. Thing. <laughs> but, there's, uh, but there's something really exciting about and special about being a part of a team that does something. Right. And that by far was so exciting to me and, and so enjoyable. And I really, I'd, I'd love to do it again. I want to do a show where I do get to sing. But, um, mm -hmm. but I, it was probably one of my favorite experiences. Well, well, good. Well, tell me a little bit about the new CD. Uh, you've got one out here, um, and it's uh, tried and true. And it, these are songs I didn't really expect to see on the label when I picked it up. Um, well, they're songs that I've wanted to do for years, and uh, at some point you have, you know, you've got a record label that tells you to do this, that, and the other, and, and it takes a while to kind of get into a place where you can do what you want to do. Uh, and so uh, these are songs that I've always kind of felt, uh, I feel like this is really vocally where I, I'm more comfortable. You're an old soul. I am, and, and I don't know that that necessarily makes, where that puts me in today's market necessarily, or, or as a... As a um, that make me too cool all the time, but <laughs> but it is. I mean, I grew up listening to these, and I don't think that you know we do a little bit on the show every night where we kind of um, uh, talk about top forty radio nowadays and uh -huh. how you know you don't really have to sing that much in order to be on the radio. And 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 I kind of uh, I long for. I feel like sometimes I was born a little too late. Uh, and got into this a little too late because it's not about music, it's not about singing as much on the radio nowadays. What you guys play is, but most of what you play is kind of a little bit, mm -hmm. is not 2011 necessarily. Mm -hmm. right. And um, and I, I really just enjoy the songs that are about the melody. Uh, and so um, this has been really a, a lot of fun. This tour's been fun for me because I like singing these songs. The album was fun for me. It was one of the easiest albums I've done because the songs were just naturally fit for me. Right. And so. Um, uh, they're, they're other people's songs, but I kind of got to put my own spin on them a little bit. Yeah, we and Marie and I listened to the CD. I love these songs. Can't take my eyes off you. What kind of fool am I? Uh, it's only make believe. Misty, Mac the knife. That was cool. That was I fun. Love, yeah, really good <laughs> version of that. Unchained melody, suspicious minds, crying, kind of hush. Moon River. Wow, just great stuff. Well, it really thank is. You very much. And I saw that you had Vince Gill uh, with you. Yeah, we we got really fortunate enough to uh, to have some great David Sanborn, Linda Etter, and Vince Gill all um, participated <coughs> in the album, and and uh, he. Uh, He's somebody who people don't realize, a lot of people don't realize, you know, he was a sought after, one of the most, still is one of the most sought after um, guitar players in, in the country. Mm -hmm. And uh, and so he played guitar on this and it was really impressive. He he went in and did one pass on it and when he and I had chills immediately and that's what we took. It was the, it was a one pass deal. It's funny. Um, he's incredible. I saw him on uh, Live by Request on A&E one time. Never knew anything about him other than Pure Prairie League a little bit. I went out and bought CDs. The guy was just unbelievable, like you say. And he's he's nice. People, he's a, he really, not only that, he's a great singer, and my mom is a huge fan. So <laughs> when he came through North Carolina, he um, and was close to home. He, he gave tickets to my mother and a friend of hers, and they got to meet him, and she was more excited about him than, than me on the album. <laughs> <laughs> great, great CD, tried and true. Uh, Maria wants to talk to you a little bit about uh, something you've well, in your life. Well, we're, we're, we're talking with uh, Clay Aiken. He's at the Mesa Arts Center tonight, so mm -hmm. Uh, you can get your tickets uh, online if you can. But a lot of people want to ask about your boy. I know he's turning three this year. Is that right? He will be three this year, yeah. Wow. So congratulations. Well, thank you very much. You're making it through the terrible twos? For the most part. <laughs> <laughs> he's, a good, he's a good kid. He definitely is. Well, good. Well, congratulations. Well, thank you very much. And uh, did you have another question you wanted to ask? Should him? I do the money question? I think you should. You're going to ask me about the money? You know, I get to no, pick no, the no, number no, no, no. on how much? And not, I win no, the money? not the cool cash oh. vault. And he was, uh, ladies and gentlemen, he was upset we wouldn't tell him the amount that's in there. <laughs> well, some of us did. <laughs> so one of the things you know, you're talking about uh, being a celebrity, it's um, a lot more smoke and mirrors than what people really think. So one of the questions I like to ask people when they come into the studio is, how much money do you have in your pocket right now? I have not one dime. <laughs> not a single dime. I don't is even have right? a credit card. I have nothing in my pocket. So nothing. Nothing. I don't necessarily carry anything with me. Okay. So I, you, I, the other day, I usually, so I have some people around me who have a copy of a credit card of mine. And they, <laughs> <laughs> my thanks for me. I'm done. And if I don't have them, I'm broke. Tell you what, I'll, I'll give you the amount of money in the vault if you give me your credit card. <laughs> I can do that. All right. <laughs> and then cancel it. <laughs> Clay Aiken, who, uh, as Maria said, is going to be at the Mesa Arts Center uh, tonight, 7.30. Tickets still available. Uh, thank you so much for coming. Thank you. Absolutely. Rise and shine, sunshine. Yes. yes. <laughs> Bring that net home. <laughs>